guys, it's been a while. That's because we've been busy. Up here's butt. <laughs> We're running all the electrical wiring. So we are done running the 12 volt wiring um, for all the lights and any other appliances that are gonna be 12 volt. But we need to run some lights up in our bed area. So up here, but we were working with a very ugly, not very supportive bottom. So we are officially adding insulation and we are going to close up this floor of our bed. Guys, so we're currently cleaning up these edges because we're getting ready to put the roof in. Probably should have done this from the very beginning. Moral of the story, do it right the first time so you don't have to do it later. <laughs> we thought we were done with this stuff. Nope. Whenever they built this thing, they kind of built it as they went. So before they even laid the roof, you know, they they probably put all of these um, wood panels. Whenever they built this thing, they kind of built it as they went. So before they even laid the roof, you know, they they probably put all of these um, wood panels inside. Everything's like layered on, so there's no way to access and get all Remove of these that. wood things loose. So what we have to do is just clean it, clean up the edge as best we can. And then, so it looks like this here. And so, what we're doing is we're attaching another piece of wood to give another half of half an inch of just clean wood so we can nail up our ceiling. Yes guys, because we just finished all our wiring, we do need to clean it up and secure it with those kind of cable, organizer. cable organizers. But the wiring for everything that we're gonna have in our RV is officially done. All right, guys. Um, it's looking a lot cleaner in here. We cleaned up these wires. Use these um, whatever they're called, wire organizers. Sure. Cable organizers, and it's looking a lot cleaner. Does that mean we get to put up the roof soon? That's exactly what it means. So we've been documenting a lot of the things that we've been doing a little at a time. But today, we're actually doing a large project. Um, so we thought we'd take you along with us. Pinterest has been our best friend throughout this entire project, pulling a lot of inspo and tutorials on different things. Um, but what we're gonna tackle next, we don't really know what it's gonna look like because there's not a lot of RV remodels that look like this or kind of go with this, what we're attempting to do. So, we're gonna have to figure it out with you guys as we go because you know we'll see how it turns out if we just rip it all down in the end oh god start over start over <laughs> just kidding we don't have that luxury of time anymore it's been a long time anyways so this is actually the third day in a row we're coming it's probably the longest streak that we've come in a row yeah to uh, joanne's parents house here in san Eli. and we've actually figured out that if we dedicate you know three four times in a row we can really get a lot done we're actually pulling in right now so this is what we'll be doing we're gonna be putting flooring on the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's been done from research that we've done people do it it's not completely outrageous and crazy so we just need to see if it's gonna work for us and if we're gonna like it. And one of the biggest reasons we decided to use these on the ceiling, it's because they're free. <laughs> so guys, my dad had these in his storage for like years, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. My dad collects so many things. Anyways, these were a little dusty, covered in cobwebs, slightly used, but we just cleaned them up and look at that. Yep. Sanded them slightly. We're gonna end up staining them so that they're a little darker because this isn't the exact color we wanted, but we stained one, worked out. So I think we're gonna go for it. Yeah, and if we put them up and we don't end up liking the dark color, then we're just gonna paint them white. <laughs> but either way, we'll have a nice hard ceiling. We spent about $25 
on our ceiling so far and that was just for liquid nail yes and we're gonna use some brads and stuff but those we already had and i just love how as we're going mr luna will be like oh well i, I have, have this, this. <laughs> and it's just a surprise really guys like... <laughs> i always complain about how much crap he stores but it's so useful sometimes so just a little backstory my dad did basically contracted work for a mobile home <laughs> yeah so he has collected things over the years and we're using a lot of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna get started. Let's go, we'll see um, how this goes. <laughs> Thankfully we have a professional because we don't know what the hell we're doing. So let's go. done for today we got about almost halfway so it looks like it's gonna be a two-day job so we'll continue here tomorrow got all the way to the door guys made major progress thanks to that man right there <laughs> So we're on our third day, so it's taken definitely longer than we thought it was. We thought we'd knock it out in two days. But we figured out that it takes long cutting these little holes, measuring, cutting. So day three, plenty more to do. About a third, a third to go. Yeah. So let's get started. Just to give you a quick view. That's what we got left. Day four, guys. We thought we'd be done in two. Then we thought we'd be done in three yesterday. But no, day four. So we only have a small portion left, which is our bathroom area. So hopefully we're done today. Can I get my get up, guys? Glasses, glasses. I'm so disgusting. I know. One thing we are definitely not good at is estimating how much time something is gonna take <laughs> us. What, what we thought was a two day job ended up being four. I mean, we thought we were gonna convert this thing in three months. And, and it's been September, October, November, year? December, January, February, Six March, months. April. <gasps> like seven months, going on eight months. Seven months. Holy moly. Well. All right then. But we're done guys. With the ceiling. With the ceiling. Yeah, okay. Okay, I just wanna go guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm like disgusting and dirty <laughs> and I need a shower. So, we finished mm -hmm. with the ceiling. Next thing, Next we're thing. walls. Walls. Yeah. I already started insulating, so while my dad and Javier are working on putting up planks, I insulated about more than half actually. No, about half. Cause I did the entire front, this wall. Yeah, we insulated about half. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to start putting up planks soon. And good news, all the light fixtures that we have work. So we know it's been a very long time since we last posted. Hope the update was worth it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully they're gonna be coming a lot more frequently. Yes, cause it's gonna be a more, cause it's gonna be fun things that we're doing, like actually building and interior design and stuff. So I think that's more of the stuff you guys wanna see anyways. So see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Love you guys, bye. bye. Okay. It wasn't recording. Shut your